Hi there, and welcome to Impersonation with me, V, the Asian who impersonates. Now today, we'll be reading a story, one that you might have heard of, it's Cinderella. And um, we're going to twist it a little bit, so stay tuned for that, and hope you enjoy it. I'll see you in a bit. Doodles! Woo! Oh, hi there. Cinderella. Okay. Once upon a time, a girl named Cinderella lived with her stepmother and two stepsisters. Poor Cinderella had to work all day long so the others could rest. It was she who had to wake up each morning when it was still dark and cold to start the fire. It was she who cooked the meals. It was she who kept the fire going. And the poor girl just simply could not stay clean from all the ashes and cinders by the fire. Fun fact, that is why she's called Cinderella. Now, one day, big news came to town. The king and queen were going to have a ball. It was time for the prince to find a bride. All the young ladies in the land were invited to come. They were wild with joy. They would wear their beautiful gown and fix their hair extra nice. They thought perhaps the prince would like them. Ayo, this fellow I tell story, I don't know how to tell properly. Uh. Yeah, let me just. Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay, okay, okay. Don't listen to what the weirdo said just now, okay? Here's basically what Cinderella is about. You can trust me, I am a Southeast Asian expert on Cinderella, okay? I know what I'm talking about. You basically have a poor girl who has an evil step family who always bully her and step all over her. And that's why they're called stepmother and stepsister la, because they always step on Cinderella ma. Alright. Then oh, one day, eh, the king, the Tua Tao Ke eh, in the palace, he make big party. And when got big party, eh, you know, got free food. Lana, okay. And you know how people eh, when they hear eh, got free food, eh, they give no chance. Man. Uh, actually, uh, now I think about it, uh, the story might come from Malaysia because what other country uh, so crazy about free food until like that one? Hmm? But no, uh, Cinderella, very poor, uh, no money. Uh. So her stepmother, her stepsister, all uh, make fun of her, you know. And they say things like, Ay, uh, you want to party with king, uh, you wait long, long. Uh. Okay, like, things like that. Uh, okay. And then uh, a fairy godmother come visit her. This this part uh, is a bit weird, yeah, okay, because tell you, uh, this fairy godmother, uh, very thick skin, you know. Nobody uh, asked to come visit. Uh. This fairy godmother simply anyhow go visit you know. But okay, I'm uh, too bad uh, because in the end, she makes Cinderella look wonderful, powerful. Uh. Don't play, play, I tell you. This uh, also really unfair one. Uh, because if I go to a girl's house uninvited and then make her look beautiful, uh, I tell you, I'll get arrested and then I get charged for harassment, trespass, and assault. How is that even fair? Double standards, I tell you. But anyway, this beautiful look uh, only lasts until midnight. Because, actually I also don't know. Everything in this storybook is all until midnight only. Uh. I guess that is the time when the trial version expires and then you have to pay for the pro version. Uh, I don't know, I have to ask the actual authors. Uh, okay. But, she finally attends the party. However, when it's close to midnight, uh, she rushed off. Uh. But she left behind uh, one selipa. That one also no magic one. Because her clothes, uh, baju, everything, the carriage all, uh, turned back into original thing. Like, Pumpkin, uh, the animals, uh, but the slipper that fell off uh, still remain as glass. Uh. Who sets the rules in these stories? Anywho, this is the second part where it gets weirder as well because the prince uh, who saw Cinderella that one time and danced with her somehow fell in love with her and he decided, okay, she is the one for me. She ran out, but I'm going to find her anyway. Can you not see how creepy that is? Because if a girl runs away from you, that is a sign for you not to chase after her. No matter what she says, that is a clear sign to stay away. But then again, he's a prince, he doesn't care much. So he goes all over the land to find her. Door to door, knocking there. And then his brilliant idea of finding her is, I am going to put this glass slipper on the feet of every girl that I meet in these houses until I find one that fits. How is that not... A red flag. Imagine if I went to your house. Hello, can I put this on your feet? You slam the door on my face. How is it that a prince is... Oh yeah, because he's a prince. Okay, never mind. Next. Also, another problem I have. Uh, 
you're telling me that nobody share the same feet size as Cinderella lah. This glass slipper can only fit her. We have the numbering system for shoe sizes. Size 1, size 10, size... You're telling me that there's only one person in the world that has that one size. Okay, sure. That's, that's very logical. Anywho, once the prince gets to Cinderella's house, he then puts the slipper on Cinderella. And they live happily ever after. Do you not see the problem there? I mean, what? No arguments, no divorce, no nothing. Happily ever after. No, eh, hey, I clean the baby diapers X number of times later. It's now your turn to do it. No, nothing like that. You expect me to believe happily ever after. Nope, I don't believe this whole happily ever after thing. Because you try living with your spouse, your girlfriend, or whoever, your partner. Lah. Try and see if you can get happily ever after or not. Never going to happen. And stay there. That's enough out of you. Hi, everyone. Thank you for watching that vid. I hope you enjoyed it. And once again, this has been Impersonation. And I'm V, the Asian who impersonates. I'll see you in the next vid. Toodles!